marvelous, marvelous playoff game. But if you really look at it from a defensive coordinator's point of view, neither could really stop the other's passing attack. So that would make sense. We'll try to make some more sense. And we return with the Packers on the clock late round number one. For centuries, our kings were cursed. The sedans had narrow handrails, making them hard to control in the corners. Sadly, many kings lost their thrones. Eventually, it was learned, wider is better. With its speed-sensitive steering technology, the White Track Grand Prix gives you precise control of the corners. Ancient scriptures still read, Yo Yang Ho Takito. Wider is better. The White Track Grand Prix by Pontiac. Again? I'm gonna call our manager. You got some change? Change? I see you fellas ain't from around here. We down 1-800-CALL-ATT. We call collect. See, with 1-800-CALL-ATT, you pay one low rate all the time. No restriction. Let's bounce. Throw your hands up. Throw your hands up. Throw your it's your birthday. Throw your hands up. 1-800-CALL-ATT for collect calls. One low rate all the time. Edgar and I have so much in common. It's like we were long-lost brothers. We both have larger-than-average ears. We both have pretty straight hair. It's creepy. And get this. We both love the taste of Miller Lite because of the choice hops. It's like we were separated at birth. Uh, actually, George, I think Miller Lite tastes great because it's smooth. <laughs> Excuse me? I like the, the smoothness. Who are you? Miller Lite, the great taste of a true Pilsner beer. Welcome to the Super Lottery Drawing. This week's jackpot is $15 million, so let's get to it. The first number is... 29. The second number is... 15. The third number... 7. The fourth number... It's time for E-Trade, the number one place to invest online. authentic khaki you'll wear out before they do back in new york late in the first round the packers on the clock mail best players available what's your reshuffled board well jansen and gibson chris right tackles cats and moyer sliding down not a big time year like he had as a freshman johnson wide receiver return man it could be a good late first early second cecil collins be interesting to see if jimmy johnson has positioned himself in the early second round to acquire collins and sean king sixth best quarterback but could be a late first early second rounder and antoine edwards a kid i really like he can play cornerback, he can play safety, versatile football player, and on the football field, Chris, he makes big plays. The Packers on the clock with about eight and a half minutes to go on their pick, then Jacksonville, now Detroit, as the trade reported by Hank Goldberg, New England, Minnesota, Atlanta, and Denver. And then we will be done with round number one of this, the 64th annual selection meeting. The Green Bay Packers, first year they really went a little bit backwards. Uh, and, of course, the new coach, Ray Rhodes, with the general manager, Ron Wolf, who built that team, along with Mike Holmgren. So now, now they went backwards that far, but they were supplanted as division champs. They want to get it back. Here's maybe the first step. Let's go to, to the podium. With the uh, 25th pick, the Green Bay Packers have selected Anton Edwards, mm -hmm. defensive back, Clemson. Well, that makes sense, Mel, because, uh, you know, that we talked about the DBs on both San Francisco and Green Bay. Ron Wolf gets a heck of a player. We just yes. mentioned him with the versatility to play corner or safety. And I think you watch him at the cornerback position, the reaction to the football, the hands for the interception here against North Carolina. Look at the timing, the awareness in coverage. A very confident young man here against Florida State. Another opportunity in coverage to break up the pass play. So you're talking about a kid who's gone up against big-time opponents here. 
making up ground in a hurry. Here's a return where you'll see some athleticism and quickness as well as a burst. And he applies that ability in coverage as well. This game was against Virginia. Here against South Carolina. Picks off the pass, takes it to the half. So you're talking about a kid experienced against Torrey Holt this past year. Had a real good first quarter and a half, then a little banged up. When he left the game, Torrey Holt had a heck of a performance. So Antoine Edwards, a cornerback or a safety, around a 4-5-2 during an individual workout. Some teams thought that maybe he's just a safety, but with the pads on, Antoine Edwards, I think, has enough recovery speed to begin his career as a corner, then maybe move inside to safety. Nice pick for the Packers. Well, it is a good pick because now all of a sudden you got a little flexibility with Darren Sharper. You've got your corners outside. Remember the division they play in. You've got the Minnesota Vikings out there, and then you start to take a look at the combinations they're up against. Carter and Moss, Moore and Morton, Conway and Ingram, Anthony and Emmanuel. You've got some wide receivers in this particular division that you have to be able to line up and have a good, solid corner with. But the other thing is, you start to bring in a Matthew Hatcher up in Minnesota, now all of a sudden it's the three wide receiver set. And we heard uh, one of the general managers talk about the fact you've got to have three corners today to line up in the secondary. You basically start three corners. If your free safety can't cover, you're really at a disadvantage on the defensive side of the football. So consequently, he becomes an excellent pick, in particular in this division. Well, let's go to the guy that made the pick. Ron Wolf, general manager of the Packers. Thanks to our sprint video conference. And uh, he joins us now from Packers headquarters. And uh, Ron, good afternoon to you. Do you... Uh, How are you doing? A lot of... Good. How are you? Doing we, well. Uh, a lot of folks it's were wondering whether... a long day back whether... here, Chris. That sure is. Hey, Antoine Edwards, can he play corner or safety in your evaluation, or is he just the safety? He's a corner in our evaluation. Has only been a corner in our evaluation. Evaluation. I say that primarily because of what Joe Theismann was just uh, alluding to: the fact of the size of the receivers in in the uh, NFC Central. We had to get somebody that can take that away, and uh, we we need big people. It's a different uh, a different game for us up here when you consider the receivers that uh, we just mentioned. That's why Deep. Edwards. Edwards is such a uh, good pick for us, we think, right there. Defensively, Ron, you know, it, it was the wild game. It was a great game for the fans against uh, San Francisco at the end of the year. But defensively, that, is that where you're headed here uh, primarily in this draft, or is that hard to say at this point? No, it's, it's not hard to say. We're, we're going to stay on the defensive side. We don't have enough defensive backs. Uh, we're probably going to use uh, maybe four more choices on defensive backs. Wow, that would that would be a big number. Hey, meanwhile, Antonio Freeman, it could be a, a, a tough summer with him. Robert Brooks has been injured. Where do you stand with those guys wide receiver, Ron? Well, I think it's, I really think it's important that we get the uh, Antonio Freeman thing done, and, and we're doing everything in our power to do that. Robert Brooks is uh, the consummate pro. We're going to let him tell us whether or not he can play. If he can't play, that's a serious blow to us. It's, it's not looking that way, though, right now, Chris. Brian, thank you very much, and uh, we will talk to you a little bit later on. You're right. It is a long couple of days. Thanks. <laughs> thank you. Ron Wolf, one of the best at his trade, bar none. General manager, Green Bay Packers. He and Mike were a tremendous tandem, but he was making the shot, the call on the shots of these drafts. And, you know, they made that move with Bonnie Holiday last year, and that was one of the best moves made uh, last year in the first round of the draft. Let's go up to Bristol and join Mark Malone and Ron Jaworski, guys. Boom, thanks. Probably no surprise Green Bay goes after a big defensive back, Ray Rhodes, of course, a former defensive back himself. Uh, Ron Wolf mentioning that they're in a division there that has big receivers and throws the football down the field. It was what Ron Jaworski and I were talking about when the selection was made. And, Ron, you're going to show us exactly why it's important you load up on defensive backs. Mark, there's no question. Football is a game of matchups. And one thing you're seeing now in the NFC Central are the teams matching up with three and four wide receivers. You look at Minnesota and Detroit. And we'll take a look at the pre-play here. And here's what you get. You get a wide receiver, one, two, three. And teams could even take the tight end out and make him become a fourth wide receiver. Very difficult to match up against this type of offense, and you need corners. That's why Antoine Winfield is a nice pick. He can match up with Sharper, Williams, Newsom, and Butler, and these are the guys that are critical right here. Your nickel and your dime back, and that'll give your safeties, which could be uh, Butler or Sharper, they can give help on these people. Now your corners, they're the guys that usually get the matchup one-on-one -on -one 
right there. And even at times now, this linebacker in the middle becomes a nickel back. It's a guy, so you may line up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven defensive back against this offensive set. It presents some real matchup problems. And when you got a guy like Winfield, who's, again, six foot and 190 pounds against those big receivers, it's a real plus. But matchups are the key, and teams can't get enough of defensive backs, Mark. Jaws at uh, a four.